Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be testing out this Fu Chao restaurant. So if you guys don't know, this is the restaurant that was in Rush Hour, Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, I believe. So if you ever want American Asian food, the next level that is better than Panda Express would be Chinatown restaurants in LA. So if you want American Chinese food that is really good, you come to Chinatown. If you want authentic Chinese food, Chinese food, like you'll find in like Hong Kong or something like that, you, you want to probably go to another place. But uh, yeah, do not get American Chinese food in those places where they're more authentic in Chinese. But if you want American Chinese food, this is where you would get it in this Chinatown area. And I believe this Fu Chao restaurant is the best out of all the other restaurants in Chinatown. So uh i'm gonna review some of the items in here and let's go so as we go into this restaurant i just want you guys to see what the layout is so this is basically how it looks like that's my food right there and uh, basically i'm just waiting for the guy to finish with the cashier take a look around this is basically how large this area is normally it's more packed but because it's about, I don't know, 11 a.m. right now, so not many people are here. But if you come at nighttime, it's like it's always packed here. All right, so we got everything, about three items. We got the orange chicken, we got the chicken fried rice, and, well, not chicken fried rice, uh, vegetable fried rice and fried chicken wings. So let's see how they make it. So obviously, I got it to go, and basically, I wanted to just, you know, be able to review these foods without anyone staring down my neck or anything like that so yeah here's the orange chicken right here too bad they put it in this we gotta let go of some of the air because fried food you should not try to cover it up otherwise the condensation will make it soggy um luckily I got there right on time it just came out so basically these these uh food is very fresh so got the chicken fried chicken wing oh look at that if you can see that smoke right there yeah look at that so this is the fried chicken wing they fried it with um jalapeno pepper and uh it looks like chives as well with msg or something like that with some chicken salt basically and yeah it, these are this is very good and very juicy so we're going to show you that after and then obviously in chinatown or in any american chinese restaurant you're going to get yourself some fortune cookies and they actually forgot my fortune cookies this time around wow really the first time that i am recording they forget the fortune cookies uh, show so much about that all right so now we review the main course so we got the two side dishes and then the main course so all of this costs fifty dollars including uh 10 percent tip so it's about 45 dollars if you can't really do math uh for these three items it used to cost less than 30 but because of inflation now it's fifty dollars unfortunately let's go for the review of the ch the fried rice vegetable fried rice right here uh we got peas carrots you know and broccoli as well as bell sprouts you know like i don't know if you like bell sprouts and eggs right here so if you're not like um i don't know which vegetarians there are but some of them don't eat eggs uh, you won't be able to get vegetable fried rice <laughs> But if you're one of those lenient veg veggies, you can get this uh, fried rice. There's no meat in it. And then you also get this uh, green beans as well. And it seems like they fried it using a wok with high heat temperature because you can see some of the scuff marks from the fire from this um, little bean right here. See that black stuff? That's because they fried it really well on a wok. And you know it's going to be authentic because frying anything on a wok is the main Chinese style when it comes to the dishes. So yeah, we got that. And then for now, our orange chicken, we got... Basically, it's pretty soggy since it was covered up right now. But usually if you order on the restaurant, it's really crispy. And I would also say that 
other restaurants that do orange chicken, right? They they really mess up a lot. Like you can't really get a good orange chicken anymore on a authentic Chinese restaurant. So you gotta have to go to an American one to get a really good one because when you go to a Chinese one, their orange chicken, right? They basically fry it so much that you are just tasting bread. Like there, there's only breading, and you won't get like this huge chunk of chicken meat, and you only taste like the bread. So yeah, and they add again bell pepper, carrots, and your famous orange chicken sauce, and that's what you get here. Okay, so yeah, let's give it a taste right now. Boom up a tea. Here, you guys can take the first bite. I know that using a fork is probably not that great. <laughs> We're picking things up. Here you go. Take that first bite. So now let's take a look at the fried chicken wing. Oh, you can hear that? The crunch. Very nice amount of salt and MSG. And the jalapeno flavor it's not spicy at all by the way so you can see that the juiciness of the chicken is very good what i like to do is combine the chicken with the fried rice and also with the orange chicken as well but i just want to show you the juiciness of this chicken and i want you to hear the crunch If I had a choice between American fried chicken and this Chinese fried chicken, I'll go for this at every single time. It's so good. So basically, we got the salty fried chicken over here. We got sweet and sour ch chicken over here. And we got a salty vegetable fried rice. Combine all three flavors. Very, very good. So basically what I like to do, take a bite of the orange chicken, take a bite of the fried chicken wing, and then take a scoop of the fried rice, put it all in your mouth, and you get that explosion of flavor. Sweet and sour, salty, a little bit of spice from the jalapeno, and the crunchiness from the fried chicken, and the smoky flavor of the fried rice. Oh man, that's so good. So again, guys, if you're ever in town, in Chinatown or anything like that, and you want a recommendation for what restaurant to go to, I suggest this place, Fu Chao Restaurant, above all else. Obviously not sponsored by them or anything, but basically during COVID-19, this was the go-to place for me. I, I ate it like almost every day and they got me through COVID. So, uh, I mean, I, I did gain like a lot of weight too. Not only that, Domino's has also got me through COVID as well. I spent like a whole year with Domino's. Oh my goodness. So God, it was so addicting. Like one, if once you eat Domino's, you can't stop. The crust, the bread is so good, salty and like flavorful. Oh my goodness. Oh man, <laughs> I gained like 10 pounds of pure fat for the whole year when I ate Domino's for that whole year. Uh, it wasn't good in terms of health, but it was so good in terms of going down your stuff. Yeah. But anyways, uh, today is all about this Chinese food. This is really good. I'm going to enjoy it off screen. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do you enjoy this kind of style? And if you have any pointers of what I can do to improve food video reviews, uh, comment down below because I'm planning on doing a little bit more of this style, but not just uh, pick up and come home and do it here. I'm planning on maybe just going to the restaurant itself and just have that kind of atmosphere of where people are just talking and in the background. And uh, But other than that, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.